Although I spent years blaming everything and everyone around me, I didn't have a single right to do so. It was all me and my undisputable beliefs that I was incredibly unlucky. Awful things kept on happening to poor little old me. So I drank. I blamed the weather. My home, my spouse, my boss, my doctor. And I drank. My actions, I felt, were always justified by the words. If you had my problems, you would drink too. I managed to make my story sound so tragic. I was always able to find people, and especially myself, to sympathize with the sad saga of my life. I was born the eldest of three children. Neither my parents nor my sister and brother were alcoholic, which might seem unusual. In fact, I cannot establish any genetic link at all in my family. I traveled to Europe at the age of 20. Again, naturally gravitating to drinkers and parties. On my return, I tied a knot with a man, coincidentally born on the same date as me. We are both Scorpio, so the combination of astrology and alcohol made for a highly volatile union. Heaven or hell, but never midway. That marriage broke up after 15 months, and I'm happy to say today that that hell of a phase is over. The combination of the trauma of divorce and the death of my only much-loved sister accelerated my descent into hell on earth. I was by now in merry-go-round of hospitals, psychiatrists and pills. Consequently, it was no time at all before I developed a dual addiction. Medical diagnosis was always depression, anxiety or nervous disorder. Alcoholism was never mentioned. My drinking at this stage, I thought was normal social drinking, interspersed with binges. The trouble being that the binges were getting longer and the intervals between them shorter. Around this time, I remarried at the age of 30 and had a child. This, I thought, was the solution. However, life in suburbia with a husband and child was a big upheaval. I needed alcohol to ease the stress of living with a hyperactive child. The rests in hospital were essential, I felt, for me to cope. Needless to say, this marriage also ended up in divorce two years later. So, at the age of 32, with a young child in tow, I moved far south in our country. On reflection, now I can see very clearly that insanity was creeping in. I became a beer drinker, a drink which previously held no appeal. Hospitalization now became more frequent, and on two or three occasions, I nearly died. I lost a great job and was in disastrous financial situation. My child saw me passing out several times and I know now that I had reached a stage of chronic alcoholism. I was too busy to try to look normal and it was very hard work. Within weeks of third hospitalization of mine, all the acute stages of alcoholism had appeared. Daily morning drinks were now a fact of life. They were essential. In fact, as my shakes were so bad, I couldn't function at all. But I still thought it was only bad nerves. However, I still had some sense of responsibility. I try to stay sober throughout the day and taking sleeping tablet with alcohol as soon as my son left for school and slept all day. 
I would wake, shower, and dress up at 3 p.m. so all appeared normal when he returned home. The stress of this way of life was unbearable, but I was determined to convince him and everyone else that I was a good mother. The realization that I could not adhere to my drinking schedule frightened me, and I was forced to admit I was powerless over alcohol. And that's why I'm here. Thank you for hearing me out.